Hey guys, this is the Great Loogie here. Welcome to Pokemon Team Rocket Edition, the go-through, part 61. And how much you want to bet I'm going to have loads of wild encounters like last time. And a rare candy, that's useful. Now I'll just go up here, and is this 9 hopefully? Oh, nice. HP up, just going to use that. On Weezing. And just going down and around. And up. And left and down again. And will this be an item, please? Ah. Anyway, we should be almost done. So yeah, we're almost at the end. I'd say this place needs to burn, but it already did technically. Do I even need to say anything at this point? Ugh. Oh, nice. Anyway, literally every third step seems to take me into a wild Pokemon attack. Anyway... Here's what we came for, not this! Not that. This is what we came for. Just went ahead and saved off screen, and now it is time to battle the cows of this place. And for once a wild Pokemon battle, I actually want to see. Yes, this is Moltres. And hopefully it won't be as annoying as it was way back in Region Adventures. Let's start off with the Thunder Wave. Ah. Uh. I was going to use... One of those trapping moves. But you had to go first and ruin it! At least it doesn't have any healing moves. Oh, nice. Oh yeah, I have Surf. And it definitely shouldn't want a KO. But it should do a fair amount. Or not. Even if I get a crit here, it'll still won't KO. Blech. Again. Come on, please stop any time now. Also, something else you should know in Generation 1 that people who haven't played the Generation 1 games... Oh, oh, we both missed. If you fight a Legendary or if a Pokemon with a low enough catch rate and doesn't have some kind of status condition, paralysis, poison... Um... Paralysis, poison, frozen, asleep. If it doesn't have any of those and you throw um, a Pokeball or something, or an Ultra Ball even, then unless it's like a Master Ball or something, then it's guaranteed to not even hit it. So basically, Lee will say, it missed the Pokemon, but it's paralyzed, so I shouldn't worry about that. Come on, Ultra Ball. Oh, you're paralyzed! Ultra Ball, go. What? Get in the ball! At least get in it! I thought if it was par- Because typically, from what I remember, if it's paralyzed or something, um, it would get in. I mean, guaranteed to get in, too. Come on. Wow, that was quick! Definitely not complaining, though. First try, too. Alright, we captured Moltres! Hooray! Damn it! Let's get out of here before I lose the rest of my sanity. And since we have the extra time, I guess I'll just go ahead and show um, our newly caught Pokemon in the box. Also, maybe a Pokemon or two um, that you might not kn know about or that I never got a chance to show you. Because, again, we have a lot of extra time because this was a bit short. Ugh, I have to, depo I have to deposit a Pokemon. 
Sorry about this, Rhinon. And yeah, there's Mew, there's Snorlax. I'm not sure if I ever showed that. I definitely showed Mew. And here is Moltres. And yeah, you'll notice back in this generation, um, it, um, would, it wouldn't say, uh, or it wouldn't heal automatically in the PC. I forget if that started in Generations 2 or 3. I know it was in Generation 3. And you'll notice it only has Peck and Fire Spin, but considering how overpowered Fire Spin was back then. Anyway, here's that Porygon also that we got back in Sylph. And now I'll just have my ride on back. Thank you. So yeah, that's basically it for this episode. Next time, we will go to another optional area. I'll see you then.